Hello there, folks. How you doing? This is the second of a double upload day. That's right. There was a video earlier today. If you've not seen that, watch that first. Get up to date with where we are. And now we shall delve in to some big games against Arsenal and AC Milan. Then, folks, I've already asked you today. How are you doing? I hope everything's all right. I hope it is all right. But let's I'll, I'll say it again. Some of you may have missed it. We're love with care. I hope everything's all right. I said that a bit early in the video. That doesn't usually come yet. Of course, then we are following on from yesterday's or to the no, Ben. You know it's a double upload day. So we're following on from uh, yesterday. No, you've done it twice. We're following on from earlier on today. That's right. Roma and Zebra. It was a 1-0, only 5-1. A couple of victories there that we we're very, very happy with. And now we don't want any of that momentum as we go into the game against Arsenal away at the Emirates. Of course, my former boys, let's see how they're doing without me. Um, hopefully badly. I was going to say we should probably check Inter, but we are Inter, so no need. So they're second in the league table. Uh, they've just beaten Burnley 6-0, so they're in form, uh, despite losing to Liverpool previous to that. Then they've been knocked out of the Carabao Cup by Liverpool as well, who are back, it seems. Of course, when we were there, Liverpool not particularly good and uh, still in fourth, so... <sighs> Never mind, eh? Uh, Danny Graham's Watford down in 18th. They are struggling after their recent successes. Hopefully, they stick with Danny or sack him and allow me to appoint him assistant manager. Um, okay, then. Let's get into this first game. Then, team-wise, we, we, we vaguely know what's going on at this point. Um, Cristiano, of course, picked up that injury uh, last episode, so he can't feature. So, we're going to go with the lineup that we're becoming all too familiar with. Uh, Kick Wolf in goal. Fernandez, Skriniar, Anderson, and Anzagi at the back. Barella, Aminkovic, Savic in the centre. Aragon behind Diego. Fatty one side. Alvarez the other side. Hang on a minute. No, we're not. Panico comes in at in goal. Eddie Salcedo gets a start for the first time. And Deezy gets back to fitness. Uh, Coletta Carr comes in for Skriniar. Van Dijk gets an appearance. Andrea Bellotti on the bench, I guess. Van Hagen comes in at right. That, some people have, will say we've got stronger there now. Spearing in at left back. Ah, uh, here, we, here we go, look, viewers. And uh, Mauro Bonono, who we've not really seen too much of, actually looks like quite a good young player, 18 years of age. Uh, he's going to get a start as well. So a chance for some of these boys to, you know, showcase what they're about. I'm not playing the strongest 11 in this game. The midfield will keep the same. You know, Barella and, and SMS will keep them. The, no, we're bringing that. We'll, we'll, oh, Ben, since he gets a start as well. It's a second team, viewers. Uh, the game against Against Milan is a biggie. And I don't think Arsenal will be trying in this. As, uh, well, some people are not fit for this game. They're not even close. Now, some of you are saying, Ben, it looks like you're throwing here. Well observed. Yes, that's exactly what I'm doing. Uh, there's the Arsenal team then. We know all of them, apart from Sabia, who I'm not as familiar with, who looks a pretty good player. And, uh, yeah, of course, they've got Wagyu as well at uh, right back. Can we get past El Paral El Eldin? That's the question. Sadru, Saliba, Tierney, Tilo and Zouar. Uh, Ignatovic as well, of course. Unovar one side. Still haven't got a face for him. I have, um, as we continue, you on. I was trying to, I actually tried to sign him, viewers. Um, not just because of the face thing. I just thought it'd be nice to have him around. He's a friendly face. That's what it is. It's, it's not, it is just a face thing. It's just a face thing. All right, then. If our second team here beat Arsenal, they need to be asking themselves some serious question marks. You might think, Ben, what's the point in watching a game where we know you're not trying to win it? Well, it's a good point. They're 1 0 up. Um, yeah, that is a good point. Basically, I'm, I'm not totally upset if we don't win the game that is that's a fact um we're trying to finish third if we the, the plan really we'll skip this the plan really you see the league table down there is to lose this one and then to beat the team in our final game which should hopefully mean we'll finish if we finish second we've got it we've, we've cocked it massively and the way it's going at the moment that could happen viewers which is a bit of a problem for us 13 minutes in we did we we Pretended to attack there. Eddie Salcedo, who everyone's bigged up as, you know, he's the player that should be starting for you, Ben. Uh, so far, no goals in the game. So, I think you're wrong there, viewers. You'll be proven right by the end of the, the, the season. Don't you worry about that. As uh, they're forward again on this right side. Ball played in. They've missed a sitter. Vasily there. That's poor. Ah, that is a real shame. That is a, that is a pity, viewers. How's it affecting the goal difference, though? I've never done this. This is the first episode ever. That we've done this. Our goal difference is far too good here. And I don't know what's going on between Monaco and Munchen Gladbach, but if someone can win that game, that'd be great. Look how pathetic our group is. Do you want to be the worst bit of all of this? If we go into the Europa League and then somehow manage to he's offside, viewers. He doesn't even know the rules. I know what you're thinking, great finish, but it doesn't matter if you're not onside. Yeah, I've never I've never been in a position where I'm actively trying to not qualify in the Champions League. This is the first time ever. So it's something new, viewers, which I think we should all get behind. We'll try in the AC Milan game. That's We'll give that a proper go. <laughs> that, what? I'm the manager, viewers. Glory Hunter's doing weird things to me. 
weird things to me. Vasily's in, this could be danger, Panico beaten, and, well, it looks like Arsenal might... At this point, though, it could get embarrassing. That's the problem. I'll be honest, this is just a shield criticism from my regular eleven, who would probably still get beat 2-1, which is the problem. Oh, God. Virgil. Uh, Virgil. Vasily's in. It's, Panico's done well. Of course, Panico, you might recall, you might. some of you may well have forgotten, but Panico, again, was another player that came through very early on, was that first year regen set, him and Inzaghi, and he's still been here. Had a little loan spell at Spal, which we could definitely get behind. Um, but, yeah, I'm now playing him. So, you know, I've developed these players, barely, from not being here. I know it's the Ansi Fatty's out there and he's he's probably a starter, so he's gonna have to come off really. Alright, Ansi Fatty comes off, uh Belotti comes on, and now Salcedo and Belotti trade places. Beautiful. It's still not a bad team. It's just not going to win this game. I don't know who was the manager of Arsenal before the guy currently in charge, but he's done a tremendous job building this team. Let me tell you as they go close again. And if I were Arsenal manager, I'd be enjoying this. I'd be thinking, yeah, I've done a fine job. They're complacent, calm, overwhelmed and confident. We're anxious and motivated and very frustrated. I'm going to demand more. Um, I don't know more of what, but... They've got, we've demanded more and they've nearly scored again, viewers. As uh, Vasily keeps it in, does so well, it's scary and they've scored. I don't know how he's just done that. I mean, I signed him and I still don't know how he's done it. We're still second, by the way. I mean, he's run out to it here, Vasily. He's got no right to not only keep it in and then somehow beat a man and get a cross in. And there's uh, Van, Z Van Zwam and we didn't buy him, so not interested. Alpa is uh, complacent, probably because he's not touched the ball today. Um, that's probably a factor. All right, bit, bit of possession in our favour, maybe. What, maybe one chance to, you know, showcase that. I hope none of my first eleven get injured. Vasily's in again. Oh, Panico with a good save. What a Monaco! And right, are they are they are they playing right now, or are they are they playing later on? Maybe. No, they're playing right now. We've all won one and drawn two. This is so poor. Meanwhile, Arsenal just cruising to the top of the group, which is you know a, a plus for them, I guess. As I kind of do hope they win the Champions League. Why not? Let let them have it, everyone. Just. Not let them have it. Obviously, that was you don't want to fix it. I say that, viewers. What am I currently... Oh, dear. A conflict of emotion, viewers. I don't know what to think. We'll make a change as well. We'll, uh, we'll get... We'll get oh, I can't take Belotti off, Ben. We're just going to put Pereira up there, who's actually a pretty good striker, who we should probably see more of. Belotti shouldn't even be starting, really, or playing at all. Of course, Belotti didn't start. Belotti came on as a substitute. Um, yeah, just thought I'd clarify. Can we, go, can, we, can we go to Milan now? Can we go back to Milan? Virgil does well, and... Uh, then gets absolutely skinned. That's not gone brilliantly. They're they're in again on this right side. Big chances. Leon Bailey. They've got a clear shot on goal, have they? No. Bailey again. We have now lost 5-0, viewers. Which, if I'm going to lose this season, I said it before, I'd rather it be to Arsenal. Yeah, that's quite embarrassing, actually. Yeah, that's that. Oh, dear. Arsenal 5. Into, into nil. Um... Unlucky boys. That's, that's done wonders for the goal difference. The goal difference has come right down now. So it's closer. All right then. Monaco with a late goal. <laughs> Excellent stuff. Well done to Monaco. What does it all mean? What does it all mean? Um, okay, here we are. So you can see there then. Uh, Inter. Oh, it's tight. I don't even really know what it means, viewers. So we, we play Munch and Gladbach on the final day. Oh no, that's a nightmare. So we need Munch and Gladbach to beat us, but we need Arsenal to beat Monaco. That's basically it, right? Oh, what a world. What are we do? What are we trying to do? What what oh, I know what we're trying to do. Get in the Europa League, which again, no one's ever done this. Breaking new ground, viewers, is what we're doing. We're breaking new ground. Alright, five days until we play Milan and this eleven, none of them will start. One of them will start. Two of them will start. Van Dyke got fined for too many yellow cards. Van Dyke got I mean he doesn't deserve that. I can't even get third properly at the moment. That's the real issue at hand. Even if like if we all draw the final, that's not gonna work either. I mean Oh, God. I realise as well, it's not that far away. So we might have to play... The Munch and Gladbach game might be some sort of hidden episode. I don't know. We'll, we'll figure something out. I have to show you it in some fashion, I'm sure. Because the drama of that is going to be fascinating. But at the same time, I do want to progress things. So, again, don't do... Oh, it's a double upload day, Ben. It's fine. Actually, it's fine. Did I just read that right? I continued there. Into stars count cost of refund. We've, we've refunded the fans. The players have. Amazing. 150k that cost him as well. Good. Good. I mean, Panico, born and bred, mate. He's, he, he was the ringleader in it. I'm sure he was. Wonderful stuff. As we go to Milan now, away from home, which isn't really away from home, but classifies as away from home, it's a massive, massive moment for us. Look, it's, it's Italy. What's a little bit of corruption here and there? I think it's fine. I couldn't do this anywhere else. I couldn't, I couldn't have done this in Spain or in France or in Germany or certainly not England. England's completely legit. Whereas Italy have got They've got a little history, haven't they? That's fair. Allegedly. 
probably should probably just say allegedly. We better not lose against Milan. Otherwise, that 5-0 morale demolition is not very good, is it? I'm just thinking now about the ramifications of getting smashed 5-0 in the Champions League. Not actually that good, is it? Would the 2-1 narrow defeat have been better? Oh, God, what, what, a, what a baffling set of circumstances. Usually if I've lost 5-0 to a team I've formerly managed, I'm broken. I'm proud, viewers. That's the worst bit of it. All right then, gang. Uh, change in lineup. I wasn't actually going to do this, but we've decided to, to go for it. Uh, Eddie Salcedo is going to start from the off. Uh, we could have played Alvarez. We could have played Van, H Van Hagen. But we're going to go with Salcedo. The rest of the lineup returns at full strength. Diego, Aragon, Fatty. Uh, we've got Barella. Minkovic, Savic is in there. And Zagi, Anderson, Skriniar, Fernandez, And of course, Kick Wolf in goal. This is, these are the boys that I'm expecting to do an absolutely fantastic job. So let's go into the game then. AC Milan. And uh, looking at the league table, do not forget, this is a... I can't say this enough. A massive game. A chance to have eight points clear right here. Eight points. And Milan, they are free scoring. They are a powerhouse. If we keep a clean sheet against this AC Milan side, I will eat my... You know I won't. I won't eat a hat. So don't say it. I love this as well. This is my old... I said I said in a previous episode that like Roma were my team back in the day. But and this was the system I used to use. Like This is lovely stuff. I used to play... Uh, I think it was Montella... And Cassano up front with Totti just in behind. It was, oh, it was sensational. Cafu at right back. Oh, just glory days, viewers. Of course, they've got England uh, international Morgan Rogers in their side as well. So someone to look out for. And again, I'd love to see this. Uh, also, uh, Cicciarelli, who plays sort of on the left side for me for Italy, is one of the best players on the game. Absolutely fantastic. Still only 24. has got so much room to grow. You'll be seeing a lot of him uh, in the upcoming Euros. I can't wait. Basically pinning all my hopes on him, viewers. So we'll see if that goes well. All right, then. Of course, we are the away side. But we know, and everyone knows globally, we both play at the same stadium. So it should be fine. All right, then. Into it we go. Of course, we're wearing the famous blue and black. They are wearing the famous red and black. And uh, it'll be a battle of these two sides, then. Who is going to take the advantage? Of course, we know even if we were to lose this game, which we're not planning on doing, that we will still be the uh, the, t the side top of Serie A. But they're in already viewers and as i said free scoring kick wolf is gonna have to be on it today they've got a corner whipped into that front post drumming noli well it was close a little bit concerning a couple of our players already on bookings they're not fully fit and i've got to say the rotation that we've done there to not play our side in the champions league midweek might have proved hopefully will prove by the end of the game to be quite good i'm gonna go slightly more positive i do think if we can try and take control of this we've got every chance there's kick kick wolf's uh, ball forward he's flicked down by aragon and salcedo's on it and he's got options in the middle if he can pick one out can he fatty at the back. post yes come on one nil massive time to score lovely work from eddie salcedo maybe the comment section was right all along viewers as uh, that was a sensational cross in have we seen cristiano do that no but we've seen him score a tremendous free kick as he got down this right hand side just clips it across and Ansu fatty at that back post heads Back across the goalkeeper and into lead 1-0. Lovely time to score as well. As uh, Oh, Rogers, the, Eng the Englishman, has gone off as uh, we come towards the end of the half. But there's another highlight to be had here as uh, AC Milan have probably changed things a little bit. It's Cesarelli now racing forward, goes for goal, straight into the arms of Kick Wolf. And you can see that gap's already emerging, viewers. And uh, we're not done yet as Kessie has pulled down and Zaghi at the very end of the half. He's gone. AC Milan are down to t down to 10. They've already had to make two changes. It is not going well for them. I certainly say I'm pleased with how things are going. I certainly am. They've been forced into two changes. What are they playing now then? So they're playing just one striker. Cesarelli is up front on his own with a man in behind i mean i've just done the team talk there without really thinking i was a bit on also pilot for some reason but we're, we're, we're carrying on and now you've got to say the game is there to be won isn't it we, we can't really afford to let this slip away probably a, a, a strange choice of words for a liverpool fan perhaps as diego fires in and it's the morning viewers diego 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 beautiful that's what we like to see 2-0 to the good and the main man does it again of course rested midweek on the volley fires home and into now with a 2-0 lead over Milan and we are beating these big teams back to back to back just what we want to see just what we want to see and again, I said it recently, I'm, I'm saying it again, I feel vindicated. I feel like coming to Inter at this stage was the right thing to, to do. I'm just looking there as well. We are 13 points clear 
of, of title holders Lazio, who really have fallen off this year. If we go close again. Milan are now way off it. We've got 11 point lead over Zebra. Napoli are in the mix as well. It's a good time to be into manager right now. Diego is spearheading this. That's why I love to see that as well. As we've got a free kick, Aragon from distance plays it in. Oh, Anderson there. I thought it was going to be a goal. It was a great save. I think he was offside anyway. But uh, yeah, what a big chance. And this is basically the same chance again, viewers. In towards Diego. He's not a man to miss or be offside. Diego. 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 You're doing it at home. I can sense it. I can sense it. I mean, you, you can't get it out of your head. So that's the problem. You go to sleep at night and all you can hear is me on the harmonica going, Diego. But sorry, everyone. 3-0. And time's ticking away. I've not even made a change, viewers, as there may even be a fourth for us. As it ticks over to 90, will AC get their goal? I, saw, I said at the start of the episode, or at the start of this game, I said, if we can keep a clean sheet in this game, that will be a task in itself. And of course, them going down to 10 has been a huge help. They might not be done just yet. Oh, kick Wolf, though. He's protecting it. He is not letting it slip today. As the time as i say whistles away diego at the double viewers and we get the big win in the in the milan derby it's what the doctor ordered absolutely sensational well done lads good win for us great win for us and uh there we go then that league table is official eight points clear after 14 games uh zebra of course can win their game but their goal difference is radically less uh or fewer than the milan's at the moment so it's looking pretty good as uh yeah we go forward there next episode i don't know what we'll do i will try and include the lunch and glad back scenario in some capacity uh of course we want to try and progress this league season a little bit more and the way things are going so far it might end up being quite comfortable which would be a joy uh, if you've enjoyed today's double upload day please do drop a like on it if you want to see some more make sure you subscribe and if you're watching early in today's episode uh this was uploaded around seven o'clock at the time of release uh, i'm streaming tonight nine o'clock on twitch.tv slash dr benji there's a link to that in the description if you want to punch it and hang out and join me for that uh, we're doing a tier 10 to the top and we're currently in tier 8 uh, and it's going well if you want to see some more uh, make sure you subscribe then I'll see you tomorrow at 5pm for a whole lot more we love with care for until next time stay safe see you soon goodbye